Michael Douglas. Remember him? Yeah, he's been around the block. I mean, romancing the stone, basic instinct, falling down, traffic. He even produced One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest back in 1975, which is one of the best movies ever made, in my opinion. He's also the son of one of Hollywood's greatest legends, Kirk Douglas. But why are we talking about Michael Douglas? I mean, look at the cast for Solitary Man. You have some very respectable actors like Susan Sarandon and Danny DeVito. And you even have up-and-coming actors like Jesse Eisenberg. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but you probably remember him from Zombieland. Or even Jenna Fisher from The Office is in this. But the thing is, this really is Michael Douglas' movie. He has all the good lines, he's in pretty much every scene, and he steals the show. Hence the title, Solitary Man. And after seeing this movie, a part of me really wants to be like Michael Douglas' character, Ben, when I'm that age. Because he's, in a way, an ideal man. He's smooth, he seduces women half his age, he's not afraid to speak his mind, but most importantly, he's cool. But he's also a self-centered child who acts without considering the consequences of his actions. And this is sort of where the movie starts to fall off. At its core, Solitary Man is a story about a dysfunctional family. And that's been done a lot lately, it seems. And in that sense, Solitary Man feels like it's kind of just going through the motions. But you don't really notice this while you're watching the movie because it's all very well acted. And the writing, even though the story is familiar, the writing's very good. There's some very good speeches here and there. But the other thing that the movie doesn't really do is show other characters suffering due to Ben's actions. A good example would be the relationship between Ben and his grandson, which gets a lot of focus, but there really isn't much of a payoff. You never see the grandson character suffering because of Ben's absence. You only hear about it. And that's kind of the thing. You have a lot of different relationships, like the relationship between Ben and his daughter, his grandson, his ex-wife, his current wife, his friends, and you don't really ever get much of a payoff. As a character study of one individual, Solitary Man pretty much hits the mark. And maybe that's all it wanted to do. But at the end of the day, it's a movie with some really good performances that ultimately doesn't really excel as a whole. It feels just a little bit too familiar. But, you know, if you're a Michael Douglas fan and you want to see him in a movie really showcasing his talent, definitely go check out Solitary Man. It's probably one of his best performances. I give it three out of five fingers.